In this second episode from the Circuits of the Past series, Iconic Corners, we take you to the famous corkscrew at Laguna Seca Raceway in California, USA. Few turns in the world of racing can claim the mix of awe, fear and excitement that the corkscrew inspires. In this episode, we'll explore its history, the technical challenge it presents, and some of the more memorable moments that have unfolded on this infamous piece of asphalt. Laguna Seca, officially named WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, was built in 1957, and it quickly became one of America's most beloved racing circuits. Nestled in the rolling hills of Monterey County, the track spans 2.238 miles, or 3.602 kilometers, and features 11 turns. Yet one corner that stands literally above the rest is Turn 8, known simply as the Corkscrew. The Corkscrew itself was introduced as part of the original design and has become synonymous with Laguna Seca's identity. This corner is infamous for its dramatic elevation change, where drivers plunge nearly 59 feet, which is equal to 18 metres, between the highest point at Turn 8 and the lowest point at Turn 8A, which is just a few hundred metres of the track later. This is the equivalent of a 5.5 storey drop, an unparalleled feature in motorsport. What makes the corkscrew so difficult then? Well, first there's the blind entry. As drivers crest the hill into turn 8, they can't actually see the apex or the downhill section that awaits them. They have to rely on their experience, instinct and muscle memory to perfectly place the car. Immediately after, the track twists left and drops rapidly down through turn 8A, leaving drivers grappling with the forces of gravity and momentum. The sudden descent and sharp switchback demands precision, making even the slightest mistakes unforgivable. Drivers compare the sensation to falling off a cliff when trying to steer, brake and accelerate at the same time. The steepness of the drop combined with the tight layout means that there is very little room for error and I'd imagine a heart in your mouth moment. Perhaps the most famous incident to ever occur at the corkscrew was Alex Zanardi's bold move on the 1996 kart race. In one of the most daring overtakes in motorsport history, Zanardi literally threw his car inside of Brian Herter's on the final lap, cutting through the corkscrew in an almost impossible manoeuvre. Zanardi briefly left the track, but somehow managed to keep control and take the lead. The move has now become legendary and simply known as THE Pass, and it still stands as one of the greatest moments in racing history. Today, I'm sure it would be known as Track Limits. <laughs> However, the corkscrew also has a darker side. Due to its challenging nature, the corner has unfortunately become the scene of several fatal crashes over the course of time, and the most notable of these occurred on the September 11th of 1999. Gonzalo Rodriguez, a promising Uruguayan driver, tragically lost his life during a practice session for the 1999 kart race at Laguna Seca. Rodriguez's car failed to slow before the corkscrew, sending him off the track and crashing violently into a concrete barrier. The impact caused his car to flip over and Rodriguez sustained fatal head injuries. His death was a heartbreaking moment for the motorsporting community, highlighting the dangers of what the corkscrew brings and leaving a lasting void in racing. Today, the corkscrew remains a defining feature of Laguna Seca. It is a corner that every driver dreams of mastering and that every fan dreams of witnessing firsthand. It has become the place of both triumph and tragedy, a test of skill that separates the great from the good. Whether it's a bold overtake, a close call, or a heart-stopping crash, the corkscrew continues to shape the narrative of motorsport at Laguna Seca. This video only scratches the surface of what makes the corkscrew special, so let us know what your special moments of the corner are down below. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more iconic corners of the world of motorsport, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can hear of more stories of other great race circuits and corners from around the globe, past and present. Also, there's a website, circuitsofthepast.com, for more information about iconic circuits from the past, and you can download a free ebook about seven abandoned racetracks that you can visit legally. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.